morning. I'm gonna make a quick video. What I'm about to say is my opinion, my belief, my and it's for learning and allegedly. Sometimes we are praying, and praying, and praying, and we thank God forgot about us. He hears our prayer. He ain't forgot about us. And we feel like we too old for this, so we, we let that go by. We too old to start a business. We too old to go back to school. We too old. This lady went back to school, and one day, she, all she wanted was get a degree. This lady was 80 something years old. I read about it. And that's amazing me. You're not too old to dream. You're not too old to complete your dream that you had years ago. So I don't know who made that up and said when you get a certain age, you can't pursue your dream. You can. You can do whatever you want to do. But I tell everybody, walk through faith, give it your all, and leave it there. God hasn't forgot about us. It feels like it sometimes. But we feel like we're all alone, but we're not. There's nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God. There's someone been on my mind. And you know who you are. God hasn't forgot about you. He hear you. He hear your cry. He hear your pleading. He hear you calling on him every day. He hear you in your tears. He hear you in the bathroom. He hear you in the, in the car. He knows it's hard for you right now. He knows you can't see it, but when you can't see, I see for you. It's already worked out. He said he just wants you to have faith and trust him. He said you're not trusting him the way he wants you to trust him. He said you trust a little bit, then you stick your hand in it. You trust a little bit, then you just stick your hand in it. He said leave it alone. It's just like a soup. You know, you can make the, sometimes you can make something so good, and then you go make it again, you want to throw some extra in, it don't taste right. That's what it is. God is cooking up a soup, and you keep on putting your feet in it, you keep on messing with it, and you're messing it up. Let him have his way. Praise him now before your blessing is granted. Praise him now before you get your blessing. Praise him in the midst of your storm. You know who you are. I just have to tell you that. Because I'm going to tell you a story. I got a um, divorce. And I was down in luck. Because when you go from two income to one income, it's hard. So what happened was, I was down in luck. I didn't know how I was going to feed my two girls. and He was just being an a a-hole. So I didn't have anything. I prayed and prayed and prayed. I said, Lord, rent is due. I just don't know. He said, I trust him. I didn't have trouble, but trust him. Boom. Somebody came and brought me a check and said, I know you're going through something. It was enough to pay my rent. And I said, that's done. Now I have to worry about feeding my children for a week. Until I get paid. Nothing in the house. Nothing. Not even me. So I said, I said, well, I looked in my pocket, but I got all the change and I came up with five dollars in chance of Lord. I just get some oodle noodles and some other things. For, um, for dinner, you know, and try to scratch it. You know, y'all remember those little muffins? Come blueberry, strawberry, cinnamon. You can get them for 52 cents. And I said, well, I buy a couple of boxes of them, and that's going to be their dessert. Let me tell you. Woo! Jesus. Let me tell you how good God is. Um, I forgot that preacher name. 
was a white guy, Copeland. Copeland did another, he, he used to come out with books, and I read a book that the same thing happened to him when he was starting out. And he was like, it was $10, the kids was hungry, it was $10 in the wind, so he went over there and got it, got some gas, and got all the kids a hamburger and a soda, and they, he said he was speaking at, at an uh, event, and he said he just didn't have it. God will work things out. It was a store behind, it was a food line behind my house. God is so good. And something was in the fence, was swinging. I said, what in the world is this? Something was in the, it was $20 bill. I, tell, I cannot make this up. I'm just trying to tell somebody about the goodness of God. It was $20 in the wind. My oldest daughter knew I didn't have no, no, um, she knew I didn't have any, um, all I had was $5. So I had $25. I got a bag of chicken for the week. I got other things. And I called her on the phone. I said, hey, come over here to food line and help me with these bags. She was like, mama, what bag? You, you only come get noodle, noodle. She came on. I made, I made groceries. Mm. Now she's 33 years old. At, no, my daughter's 34 years old. At that time, my daughter was 13. And my baby girls, my baby girl was three or four. But let me tell you, God will show up and show out. And I'm trying to tell that person to watch me all the time. God is a good God. I'm telling you, that twin I was in that wind and that fence, I cried so bad. I'm telling you, I shouted all the way to the store. And now you can't buy the chicken. You could just buy the chicken legs in the red bag at Food Lion. And those chicken bags was like, what, $3 or something? You used to get the pork chops for like, you can get four or five pork chops and one thing for about like three or four dollars. You can't get it now. So I'm telling you, back, in, back then, you can't get it now. So what I'm trying to say is, whatever you're going through, Praise God in the midst of your storm. And I tell that story to a lot of people because I read in Copeland, Kenny Copeland book, I read that same thing. And I was like, mm, God is good. But I'm going to thank him when I seen it in that fence. I said, the same thing happened to me. And that's when I was in that fence. God said, let me tell you one thing. He said, I sent somebody to pay your rent. He said, now I'm sending you to do some groceries until you get paid Friday. Woo, Jesus. My children had hot dogs. They had pork chop. They had chicken. We had, you know, those, those boxes of um, macaroni and cheese. I used to add my own cheese and fix that up. They had screen beans, screen beans in the can. I even bought them some tater chip, and I even bought them some, some candy. You know what? Ha! I'm just telling somebody about the goodness of God. Now, I got to go. And as always, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Subscribe, push like, ring that bell, ring-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding, and you can start ordering your stuff tomorrow.